Welcome to Mac Volkswagen TV. Hello, this is Joe Hergert with Mac Volkswagen. At Mac Volkswagen, we like to have fun. We're going to go resume. I just pushed the resume. I'm not touching the gas, but I pushed the resume. And the car is accelerating. In this video, we're going to show you a lot of safety features on the ID4. It will appear in this video that at times the car is driving itself. But don't let that fool you. Yes, there are a lot of very useful and convenient safety features in this video. But you always have to stay alert and pay attention to the road. You can allow the car to decelerate or accelerate for you. You can allow it to keep you in between the lanes, but that doesn't mean you can take your attention off the road. These are excellent safety features. And if you get distracted or become unconscious, they may provide you with a second chance or even prevent an accident. But as the driver of the vehicle, it is your responsibility to maintain control of your vehicle and stay alert. These systems use a radar in the front grille and a camera right in front of the rear view mirror. You'll find your adaptive cruise control buttons on your steering wheel. Right over here on the left side, you'll find the on button, the off button, the set button, and the resume button. The button that adjusts your following distance, the acceleration button, and the deceleration button. If you push the assist mode here, you can see that you've got some pictures here. It shows you the car in front of you, the car beside you. Lane keep assist is gonna keep you between the lanes. We'll show you how that works as we're going. This can turn it on and off, and you can adjust active or active and steering wheel vibration here. Adaptive cruise control is gonna adjust your speed with the car in front of you. You set it for the speed you want, and the car will go that speed as long as there's nobody in front of you. But if there's somebody in front of you going slower than the speed you've set it for, the car will slow down. You have this button right here, which will set your following distance. We'll show you how that works. Lane change assist, turn this off. When you turn this on, you'll see these indicators on the mirrors there. That's gonna tell you if there's somebody in your blind spot. And that's a nice feature there. Dynamic road sign display. You can turn on your speed alert. Let's turn that on to visual and audio. Alert more than zero miles per hour. So if we're going over the speed limit, we're gonna let it, so the car will let us know that. All right, let's get going. Shift into drive. Light bar goes across. We're in drive. This little window here shows you the operation of your adaptive cruise control was actually already on. The cruise control does not turn off when you turn the car off. That's kind of a, a convenient feature about this car. A lot of cars, when you turn the car off, it turns off the adaptive cruise control, but this one, it stays on, but to turn it back on, just to show you, I push the button there and it shows you that it is on. So we're gonna get going here. Once you've set the cruise control for a certain speed, it's going to remember that speed until the cruise control is shut off. If you cancel the cruise control or step on the brake, it will still remember that speed and when you push the resume button, as long as there's no cars in front of you, the car will gently accelerate to the speed you previously set it for. Okay, so you'll notice once we get up to speed that your lane sway a warning system here lights up. And you now you can see that it's green and you can see that it's detecting a solid line here and a, and a dotted line here. So as you approach the line, You notice it turns orange. The line lights up. There's a little bit of steering resistance there. It's actually kind of difficult for me to get it to go over that line. It gets you just a little bit of resistance. If I wanted to get it to go over, because there's nobody behind me, I'm gonna go ahead and cross the line here. And it, it actually, it tried to push me back over a little bit there. Um, but, so it tried to push me back over. Now you can see that I've got a solid line here and a dotted line on this side. We're gonna cross back over here and I can feel the steering wheel start to vibrate just a little bit. It's almost like there's a rumble strip in the middle of the road when I cross the lines there. So it's kind of neat warning me that I go across. It's a very subtle warning. It's not like it's hard to get it to go across the road. It's not something I have to fight with, but, and you can see if I take my hands off the wheel that it will, oh, there you look at that. It steered right back into the road. That's a pretty impressive feature there. So I really like that. So let's try this cruise control out. So we're going to go ahead and set the cruise control. So we got it set for 41 miles an hour. The car is sitting right here, just 
keeping the speed at 41 miles per hour. And we're gonna go over here. We can push this middle button to set my following distance. We're gonna set it to the farthest to make it work here. When you push the power button on the cruise, you'll get this green light indicating right here. It shows a speedometer with a car over top of it. I wanna take a moment to apologize for the blurriness. I only had one camera and I was trying to piece in all these here, but I hope it will help you out. To set the cruise for a higher speed, push the accelerate button. You'll see that it increases. To set your cruise control for a lower speed, Press the decelerate button and you will see that the speed decreases. I'm going to go a little bit quicker here. It says the 55 mile an hour speed was exceeded, so we're showing that working for us. We're at 57 now. Nobody's in front of us for a while. Shows that car way up there. Okay, this guy's going to get in front of us, so maybe this will. Okay, there. See, it sees the car right there. And it's, we're at set at 60, we're going 57. It's starting to slow us down because of that car up there. So that's uh, showing us the adaptive cruise control working for us. And as we get into town here, we'll see the traffic will actually start to slow down. So then we'll be able to see, again, 55 mile an hour speeds exceeded. And that, uh, that speed alert is really on top of that. If you want to keep this car, if you want the car to keep you from getting speeding tickets, I think it will be on it for you like that, just reminding you. It's a subtle warning. It's not too obnoxious, but it's definitely letting you know that you're going over the speed limit. All right, so that guy's put on his brakes. We're not quite getting close enough yet. All right, we're coming up on the 50 mile an hour. Didn't notice that little sign. Okay, now it notice it's 50 mile an hour, and we're going to start getting close. Let's see if it breaks for this guy here, slowing us down to 54. 52. It's set for 60, but we're only going 51 because traffic is now slowing down. So it's pacing us with the traffic like this. As this other car gets in front of us, we're slowing down to 47, 46, so that the car is just slowing us down like this. It's a pretty neat feature. I don't have to brake at all. The car is practically, it feels like it's driving itself. So, and now we're going to get this 40 mile an hour sign up here, right there, just as we 50, 40 mile an hour speed, there we go. So that's uh, activated, and we're gonna get up here to this red light. So let's see uh, if it slows us all the way down. How? Let's see how it stops for us in this stop in traffic here. Going down to 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 29, 27. And now it's really, it's starting to play the brake pretty good there. 16, all the way down. Nine, eight, okay, it's bringing us, to, I'm not touching the brake yet at all. Brought us to a complete stop. The car is stopped. ACC is ready. So we're gonna wait here for the light to turn green and see how that works. Cruise control is still set for 60 miles an hour. We're almost to our destination there. I have not touched the brakes or the gas uh, since I set this adaptive cruise control back there. It's just keeping me at this nice, safe distance from this car in front of me. I could actually tell like I can get a little closer, but I like keeping it back this far. No reason uh, following closely and gives us plenty of time to stop. So we've got to come up to a red light here. Let's see, let's let the uh, the, Vol the uh, Volkswagen ID4 do the stopping for us. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep my brake foot over the brake just in case, but it's going all the way down to zero here. There you go. It brought, this is a uh, cruise con adaptive cruise control is ready. It brought us to a full stop there. I did not touch the brake. So that was, that's a really nice feature there. When you're sitting in a stoplight, this car, you don't hear the engine idling or anything. The car is just quiet. I've got the climate control system on just a little bit, keeping me comfortable. Uh, but it's, in fact, let's uh, just for effect, go ahead and turn that off. I don't know if you could hear it there anyways, but it's uh, actually quite comfortable in here anyways so we got that and we're just going to wait here for the light it's like a zen moment in this car it's like a moment of zen so we're going to go resume i just push the resume i'm not touching the gas pedal i push the resume and the car is accelerating so we're going to let it do the uh driving again it's keeping us a safe distance behind that subaru up there and we are coming up to mac volkswagen pretty soon 
So I'm going to apply the brake here. And we're going to put the signal on, and then we'll be applying the brake, which will turn off the adaptive cruise control, and we're going to pull into Mack Volkswagen here. Your destination. It is on the right side of the road. Thanks for watching another Mack Volkswagen video. Come see us at 1920 Northeast Highway 99 West, McMinnville, Oregon. Or give us a call at 877-721-5794. Volkswagen in the heart of wine country.